Hello everyone, this is Mrs. Snook with section 2.5 and in this section we are going to start writing proofs. So our objective is to connect reasoning in algebra and geometry. Now a proof is a series of steps that you take to solve a problem and you list down the reasons that you're taking that step. In other words, you could think of it as what rule says I can do what I'm doing. I'm going to start off just by using algebra. So here's our first one. We are given 2x plus 5 equals 4x minus 13. We are to prove that x equals 9. In our first column we put our statements. And the second column is the reasons. And number each statement and each reason. You always, always, always start with the given. All the time, every time, put your given down first. So 2x plus 5 equals 4x minus 13. And the reason for that is it's given. You have to start someplace, so that's what the given is for. Now I'm going to solve this equation just like I would back in Algebra 1. And the, the only difference is, is I'm going to write down my reasons for doing it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 5 from both sides. And since I'm doing it from both sides, that subtraction property of equality. So I'm perfectly fine if you want to write it like this. Minus for subtraction, property of equality. We will use a lot of abbreviations and shorthands, so you don't have to write out everything. When I subtract 5 from both sides, I get 2x equals 4x, here's my subtract 5, minus 18. Okay. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides. Again, that's subtraction property of equality subtraction property of equality. When I subtract 4x from 2x, I get negative 2x equals negative 18. Next thing I'm going to do is divide both sides by negative 2. So step 4, I get x equals 9. And this is division property. You can also write div for division. Okay. Now I have x equals 9. That's exactly what I was told to prove. So this proof is done. I stop here. Let's do the next one. We're given 3 times the quantity x minus 4 equals 4x plus 2. And we're to prove that x equals negative 19. So first thing, 3 times x minus 4 equals 4x plus 2. That's the given. Always start with given. On quizzes and homework, you do get points for that. Um, next thing I'm going to do, just like I would if I was in Algebra 1, is I would distribute that 3 through. So 3x minus 12 equals 4x plus 2. That's distributive property. Now I'm solving like I did the last one. I am going to add 12 to both sides. So 3x equals 4x plus 14. Addition property of equality. And notice that I'm not showing each step as I do it, I'm showing the result of what I get. So each statement is the result. Now let's subtract 4x from both sides. I get negative x equals 14. That's subtraction property. And this time I'm going ahead and I'm writing sub. I'm fine if you put a minus or if you write sub for subtraction. Now the last thing is I need to divide both sides by negative 1 because I have a negative x and I just want x. So x equals negative 14 
and that's division property. And notice I am done once my um, last statement exactly matches what's in the proof. Okay, so here's a geometric proof. When you're doing these proofs, make sure that you draw a picture. You have to have a picture and you have to mark it. So given A, B, and C are collinear, so I'm going to make points A, B, and C that are collinear. A, B, C, A, B, C, there's my collinear points. D is not collinear. All right, I'll put D up there. And it says prove angle ABD. So here's angle ABD and angle DBC. Here's angle DBC. I'm going to prove that they're supplementary. So when I look at this picture, I'm seeing a linear pair. Do you see it? All right. What I've done here is I've given you the steps, and what you're going to do is fill in the reasons. So A, B, and C are collinear, D is not collinear, write down given. A, B, C is a straight angle. So if you look at A, B, C in the picture, that is a straight angle. Anytime you have a vocab word, that's a kind of a clue to say definition of, and then the vocab word, straight angle. Next one, angle ABC is 180 degrees. We know that comes from straight angles are 180 degrees. So we have another definition of straight angle. The next statement says ABD plus DBC equals ABC. Look at your picture. If I add those angles together, I do get that big outside angle. So this is angle addition property. Actually, it's postulate, angle addition postulate. And now I had this equation, and then in place of ABC, 180 degrees shows up. This has been substituted into there. So this is just substitution, and I write S-U-B-S-T for substitution. The last thing is my equations are gone, and it just says angle ABD and DBC are sup. That's short for supplementary. Well, guess what? That's the definition of supplementary. Isn't that when you add two angles together, they equal 180? So definition of supplementary. And I'm fine if you just want to abbreviate it. Here's another one. Now we're given that angle ABC is a straight angle. Proof that angle ABD and DBC are supplementary. Draw yourself a picture. ABC is a straight angle. And then we have angle ABD, so that means I need a point D out here somewhere. And we're trying to prove that angle ABD and angle DBC are supplementary. Again, I'm giving you the statements. All you have to do is put in the reasons. Angle ABC is a straight angle. Always, always, always start with given. So the first thing we're going to write is given. And then we said angle ABC equals 180 degrees. Check it out. We've got a vocab word, straight angle. So you should be thinking definition of straight angle. And then it says ABD plus DBC equals angle ABC. Isn't this just like what we did in our last example? We're adding angles together, so this is angle addition. Postulate. And then just like that last example, 180 got plugged in there, so angle ABC went away and 180 went into its place. We call that substitution. And then look at it. 
We've got two angles adding up to 180, and we're now saying they're supplementary. That's definition of supplementary. All right, here's another one. C is the midpoint of angle AD. A picture is given. Whenever you have a picture, that is considered part of your given information. And what you want to do right away is mark your picture. So before I even start, I'm marking this congruent because of midpoint. Now here I'm giving you some statements, some of the reasons. First thing, every time, all the time, it's the given. C is midpoint of line segment AD. And then we're going to prove x equals c, x equals 6. All right, so we have AC equals CD. That's your definition of midpoint. Because C is the middle, that means AC and DB are the same thing, which means they're marked the same. They are the same. So AC equals CD, or 4X equals 2X plus 12. And right here, where did that come from? That's your definition of midpoint. You could also use substitution. I'm going to use substitution because what's in the picture is also given. Now I'm ready for my algebra. Let's subtract 2x from both sides. I get 2x equals 12. This is subtraction property. And then divide both sides by 2. x equals 6 for your division property. And that is what we were asked to do. Prove x equals 6. We've done it. All right, that's it for today's lesson. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.